Welcome to your evening de-stressing routine. These are the best poses to calm down so you can have a restful sleep tonight. I'm gonna to be using a bolster and a pair of blocks. I'm actually Jacqueline. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And let's get into our relaxing routine. Let's begin with the bolster here. We're gonna start with a nice chest opener. We're gonna hold this for about two minutes. So you're gonna lower back onto your bolster just like this. And it's gonna be about the mid of your back. Hands are gonna come behind your head. You're just gonna release the head all the way back and then come all the way up just like this. I know, you're gonna do a little bit of work here and this is just to open up the body. Nice big inhale, exhale. Curl it up. Nice and gentle, this is really about releasing any of that tension that we tend to hold in our back, in our chest, and also a chance for you to fully open up your heart right here. We stay very protected, very closed off, and this is a great way for you to just let go. Allow yourself to be free. Good, inhaling in, and exhale. Come on up, keep going just like that. Close your eyes if that feels good for you and just get lost in your body. Just feel inside and allow the mind's eye to redirect and focus inward. Beautiful. You could always use some pillows at home, of course or a couch cushion if you don't have a bolster yet. Nice, now let's go ahead and lean back, take a block, put it right there for your head. So place your head right there on the block. And now you're gonna reach the arms up overhead and then you're gonna take the elbows, draw them down into like a little goal post. Now, if it's more comfortable for you to extend your legs, go ahead and do that. I like to do that so I can just completely relax. And then you're gonna inhale, reach the arms overhead, really stretch long, feel the spine releasing, exhale, bring the elbows down. Again, inhale. I think this feels so good. And exhale, feeling the chest open, your heart widen and expand. And you're just letting go of the day, being present here. Remembering that being present is truly where you are your most powerful. Because when you're present, you're calm and you're usually grateful, right? You can't really be present and anxious at the same time because anxiousness means that you are focusing on the, on the future or the past. And that can make you feel anxious. But when you're present, you're calm, you're grounded, and that's where you're the most powerful. That's where you can think clearly and creatively. Good. All right, now go ahead and just release the elbows to the sides, and then just let the toes fall open, and we're gonna hold here. So do your best to not fidget, and to just completely release. Hold and let gravity take you over. Allowing the thoughts to remain positive. Letting go of the day, knowing that you bit, did the best that you could today. And every day is a new day for you to show up in excellence. And so if there's anything that you wanted to change from today, you get to go tomorrow and do it again from this state of gratitude and positivity. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose.
take one more big deep breath in, reach to the fingertips, reach to the toes, and slowly make your way all the way back up into a seated position. Okay. Hopefully you're already feeling more calm and relaxed. So go ahead and place your bolster out in front of you. And we're gonna take puppy pose here on the bolster. So this is going to allow your heart to really drop down to the floor. And again, open up your heart. So place the elbows on the bolster. Let the forehead drop down to the mat, all the way down. And let the chest drop down to the floor. And we're gonna hold right here. And so I'm placing my forehead onto the mat. And I love this one. I'm using the Brentwood Home Mat and it's just so soft and organic. So I feel comfy and comfortable breathing it in. And just allow your heart to melt down. You're at a slight inversion. So the blood is flowing, which is great for recovery. We'll be here for about five more breaths. Take one more big deep breath in and then slowly make your way up. And then you're gonna sink all the way down. So you're gonna come onto your stomach here and you're going to take your arms out to a T. Okay, so I'm gonna take my arms out to a T and your face is kind of in the bolster, but don't worry, we're not gonna move it. So you're gonna place the hand right by your uh, rib here and you're going to take your cheek to the pillow and then you're gonna roll over onto your arm, just like that. So your arm is to the side, so let me show you here. See it first, so I'm gonna do my left side first, just so you can see. And you're gonna roll over so the arm is straight out at a T, and then the other foot can bend to meet it right there. So we're gonna just stay right here. So find a good position for your feet. Maybe you bend your knees in, maybe you wanna take both knees up if you're super flexible but we'll find a good spot for you that works, all right? And we're gonna just hold here. Make sure your arm is truly at a T so you can get a really good stretch in your chest and pec muscles and lats and low back. So this is a full upper body twist here. And breathe, especially in this twist, the body can be a little bit more constricted so that makes you take a bit more effort to breathe in. and slowly release back into the center, right where you came from. The other arm, and let's go to the other side, placing the hand on the floor to support you, making sure that that opposite arm is at a T. Take those deep breaths in and out through the nose. 
finding any constricted areas and sending the breath right there. Any place that's a little bit more tight. Maybe it needs a little bit more love today. And allow the breath to go there. Just soak in this moment. Really feeling that deep, deep sense of connection to yourself, to your body sense of appreciation that you have to have this time, this body, this community, knowing that this time that you spend on yourself is truly how you're able to help other people because you show up strong, empowered, calm, clear-headed, and we need people like that in the world, showing up strong. Breathe deeper. See if you can take the breath all the way down to your toes. Big deep breath in. Big deep breath out. And then slowly release. Come back to the center. And then come on up nice and slow. Okay, so we're gonna do a little resituating here. So you're gonna take two blocks here and here like this. So you have the blocks long ways. So one is in between the thighs, one is out here, and then you're gonna place the bolster right on top. And then you're gonna lean forward like you're in a child's pose, wrap it around and just lay all the way down. It's so comfy cozy. Okay, so just relax. and slowly come on up. Now we're just going to switch sides. So if you had your right cheek down, just put your left cheek down. But I told you, this is so nice. It really opens your back, grounds you down. So let's go ahead and switch to the other side. slowly roll on up let's go ahead and put the bolster to the side right now and let's go ahead and come on to our backs so what we're gonna do is come into a bridge so you're gonna take the block underneath your hips take the block right here so it's up to you how high you want to go I like to go high because I feel like it really opens up my low back more so, but if that's too high for you, just take it down one level. So just find something that you like there. And then make sure that it's right there on top of the sacrum. 
and then spread the, width, the feet wide and have the knees kind of fall in towards each other. They might not touch all the way, but just have them relaxing in. And then palms to the ground if you wanna feel more grounded, or you can have the palms facing up if you wanna feel more open and receiving. And we're gonna just hold here. This one is also really good for digestion because it, you can kind of feel like how the stomach kind of moves around. So if you're ever feeling a little bit of indigestion, definitely do this pose right here. And take a nice deep breath in and heel tilt the feet back to the center. Carefully bring one knee in and carefully bring the other knee in, making sure that you're right there on the center of your block. And then you're gonna extend the legs straight up towards the sky. Again, if it's too much with the high block, just take it down one notch. And then we're gonna hold here in our shoulder stance here, just allowing all the blood flow to go from your feet down to your hips and into your heart and into your head. Just feel this pouring down energy into your heart, allowing all of this good energy flowing into you. Allowing this to come in. So many times we block ourselves from allowing what is really, truly our birthright, this feeling of joy, of groundedness, of inner peace. And it's always here waiting for you when you allow it. So allow all of that goodness in. Allow the joy, the gratitude, the inner peace to pour into yourself right now. And then carefully bend the knees, tap the toes down to the floor, and then bring the block out from the sacrum. And then we're gonna take the bolster back underneath our knees for our final resting pose. So underneath the knees, you can move the block out of the way. Lay all the way back. and just allow the breath to go deeper. And the deeper your breath goes, the more comfortable you become. And the more comfortable you become, the deeper your breath goes. Feeling all the relaxation from your toes, your heels, your calves, your knees, your thighs, all the little muscles. Any tension is releasing now. All the way up through the hips, the solar plexus, the pelvis area, all of it is washed away 
and what is left is power and strength your beautiful muscles and we continue up through the spine your strong spine everything is relaxed and releasing the tension is letting go up into the shoulders and front and back on top all down through the upper arms the lower arms the hands fingers thumbs every little bit of tension is just leaving the body sense of calm here is always available to you at any moment no matter what is going on in your life you can choose to relax you can choose to come back here to this place of inner peace of inner knowing what is best for you what is best for others And then just allow your breath to return to a normal, natural rhythm of breathing as you just relax right here. And let's take a nice big inhale in. Reach the arms up overhead. Stretch through the toes. And staying deep within, keeping the eyes closed, you can roll over onto one side and carefully bring yourself all the way up into a seated position. Keeping the eyes closed so that you can stay relaxed. And bow the head down towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude just allowing all those good feelings to radiate in all aspects of your life and everything that you're doing bringing it into your workspace your family your career every single person that you come in contact with is going to feel better because you feel better and that's how we create that ripple effect and it all starts with us in our practice Seal that all in with a beautiful breath in and exhale, release. Amazing work. I'm so happy that you got to join me today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know how that was for you. And if you haven't had a chance to get yourself a bolster or this beautiful mat yet from Brentwood Home, I have a discount code down below in the description box where you'll get a nice discount and you'll be able to comfort your practice with the best, highest quality uh, props for yourself. Okay. Love you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.